Are you able to see my screen as well? Honest? Are you able to see me? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, Monish, we can see your screen. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm starting. I'm just uh, oh. thinking like... So, yeah, good morning, everyone. Uh, many of you may know me and some of you may not. So today, uh, before I have taken a complete uh, seminar on uh, modest full stack development, what are the advantages and all. So, uh, like in this session, we will see somewhat uh, related to AngularJS. So see, this session is go all going to be on uh, angular js so if some of you uh, may already have heard about angular js some of you may already have done projects in angular js and some of you may not uh, even heard of it but no problem i will uh, come from the basic only uh, the first thing before starting the seminar uh, i will tell you is that uh, in this seminar you will get the basics of angular js like what is AngularJS, why they have uh, started this framework called AngularJS and uh, and at the end of this session I will give you one project. I have developed one project for you guys uh, using AngularJS uh, as a front end and back end uh, Spring, Spring Boot. I have developed a project for you. Uh, at the end of the session I will give you that the project looks like this. Uh, so the front end technology and back end technology of this project is uh, you know very hot in industry right now angular js and spring boot i will give the link you can download and you can just play with it uh, just understand the code which i have written and uh, try to implement similar projects from your side uh, using the code uh, i am giving complete rights on that so so that is what you will get from this seminar okay by before starting uh, to learn about angular js you have to know why actually angular js is uh, discovered in the first place before in uh, years like 2003 and 2005 at that time uh, people used to develop publications we have facebook before angular js we have facebook uh, before react js but still we can develop apps if anyone comes and asks you that uh, can we develop applications use without using angular js or react js your answer should be yes we can develop a complete application, a high-end application without ever using AngularJS or ReactJS. But why we have invented this AngularJS? In, in, uh, there is a concept called DOM. There is a concept called DOM. I don't know how many of you have heard about DOM. DOM is nothing but document object model. That is, uh, whenever you write some HTML, right? In HTML, have you write, you write like HTML and then you write some head or title and then we add some body and then we close them right in the same like this way in the same way when we write html in this manner the dom divides this html into smaller smaller parts like how we divide a project into smaller smaller parts in the same way that the dom divides that complete application that complete html into smaller smaller parts like the main root element will be HTML, then HTML consists of head and body, and then head consists of title, and the body consists of A in this manner. So we are understanding, right, how this is going on. Let me give you a brief. Because without understanding Tom, uh, you cannot understand AngularJS. That is the reason I am uh, pushing you on Tom. DOM is the you know basis of why AngularJS or ReactJS framework is uh, invented in the first place. We write HTML, right? In the uh, the top, the parent of everything in a web application is called a document. Please try to remember this. Document is the complete head and parent of every application. If you go to Google Chrome right now and you click on F12, F12 you will get some console.log this is called console in uh, google chrome here you can play with the javascript here if you type document you see everything if, when i press document here everything is getting selected at, selected at the left hand side because document is the parent document is the parent of the complete html we have here that is why everything is getting selected it is the head, it is the parent of the complete application. If you want to uh, make this complete application into red color, 
you just need to change this document dot get set uh, set color to red then everything will be changed to red color that is how a basic uh, dom manipulations work to be more concise but till now you are understand great right, what is a dom and all because uh, you have to understand dom before going to angular and react otherwise you will be confusing in the later stage and the other important thing i want to show you as since i showed you console right uh, other important thing i want to show you is window whenever you press window here window this this particular syntax will have all the functions related to an application if you press window here and you click on enter you will get a list of functions cookies my learnings activately else many things you will get with using just this window you can control cookies of a website you can control passwords of a website you can click uh, you can control catch of a website you can control login sign up uh, application management everything you can control by using this one uh, powerful uh, syntax called window in a browser even you can play with it you, you can open any website here you can open uh, for example hacker rank or uh, this w3 skills anything and you click on window here you will get a list of possible things you can play with this website i'll not show you what what you can do but uh, you can do a lot of things for example if you uh, when you are clicking some websites you will get advertisements right by using this window option you can also er eradicate that uh, advertisements also some of you may also use chrome extensions like ad block i hope some of you may use it ad block also works in the same way whenever a website is opened ad block uh, contacts this window it selects all the advertisement fields and it will delete it that is how uh, it works so this is all how dom works dom is a, a, a you know a sub part of uh, complete web development where dom manipulates all the smaller smaller parts of a web application uh, i hope you understand understood to dom now if you have any doubts only regarding dom uh, you can ask me right now for do a document you have something called root in down of it and root will have uh, your basic uh, root is nothing but your html main html root will have your head uh, title uh, tag uh, these all things it goes on like this down i have chat i will come back to the chat once i'll show one live demo here if you type any uh, web application this is how it will be divided doc type in the sense doc type we html we are telling the website that this is an html so see uh, here doc type html then it will be divided into head head will be divided into head and body it's just like your binary search tree think of dom as your binary search tree in this way dom will be you know broken down into smaller smaller pieces your complete web application uh, you can use your live dom viewer so that if you type any web, uh, any html uh, code here it will be reflected uh, in this you can see live uh, dom view dom view the so the name is the, the website name i'll share in chat Uh, since I open chat once, let's see. Uh, good morning, Ram. Yes, yes. Uh, hello, brother. Hello. Uh, please share your uh, IG ID. I don't know what is IG ID. I think uh, you're asking my Git ID. Git, Git in the sense uh, the projects which I keep. I don't know what is IG ID. Maybe you're talking about IG TV of Instagram. Or I don't know that. Uh, please be somewhat specific. I didn't understand. Insta. Okay. I'll share. Uh, in the session i don't have ig id i think i'll i'll see in the session uh so using this link you can uh, learn about dom and also please understand that without dom you cannot learn javascript you cannot learn react js you cannot learn angular js because in any interview you go and if, if if you a person asks about dom and you simply say i never heard of dom i don't know what is dom right away they'll think that you know nothing of javascript because javascript is built on top of dom and angular js and react js is also built on top of dom this now whatever i'm teaching you right this will not be available in internet in internet i have seen many videos but none of the person handled dom they directly uh, teach you about angular js and react js but they won't tell you uh, why uh, you have to learn dom for learning those things that is why i am bringing this topic called dom 
please understand the dom before uh, getting into that and uh, bro uh, one help actually i don't know node js it has been recognized in cmd and if not recognized in vs code help me out yeah, okay now uh, when opening the project i'll uh, tell you this definitely i'll show you how to maybe uh, after uh, keeping npm you may not set the path in uh, variables environment variables we'll check that out so that is what dom is dom is nothing but just like your binary entry which divides your complete html into smaller smaller parts so that uh, a developer and a, and the complete browser can understand it when talking about browsers another one important topic which uh, most of the videos tend to forget is that javascript engines i don't know if uh, any of you have uh, known about javascript engines and all this is also an important topic sundar pichai has all has worked on this particular topic called javascript engines only because of that he if uh, he built that google chrome and uh, by we are using that only we can see uh, that much powerful it had in the past a few years uh, javascript engines but most of the people neglected it uh, sundar pichai caught i on it and uh, he worked on javascript engines so javascript engines is nothing but you use uh, google chrome right you use chrome google chrome you use uh, edge microsoft edge and you use uh, something called firefox mozilla firefox you use these browsers but you have you ever thought of how these browser browsers work and how these browsers uh, understand your html code or your javascript code for example a, a facebook is writing a, some uh, facebook code he is writing some uh, Uh, functions in his uh, application he will send that application to your chrome browser so that you can use facebook how chrome is understanding it how chrome is compiling it so chrome has some engine called v8 engine which is developed by uh, sundar pichai only he developed this v8 engine he advanced it so using this v8 itself chrome will understand and compile whatever the html css and javascript is coming to our browser in the same way uh microsoft edge has uh, its own javascript engine called chakra core chakra core these are the things which you have to know before becoming a full stack developer because uh, uh, you don't know in which environment you will work on after developing your application you, you have to check whether it works properly with v8 engine chakra core and uh, for firefox the name is somewhat uh, you know funny it is spider monkey it is spider monkey the javascript engine is spider monkey so these are the three main javascript engines that are used used by popular browsers to compile our html css and javascript now this is this is what the story till now till now before getting into angular js and react js this is the story so we have we, ha we can develop applications using this and uh, chakra core v8 spider monkey will able to compile it but why there is need to develop frameworks called angular js and react js so the problem is uh, think of any website here for example if i take this website only before before angular js and react js what happened to you know if i click on css button here this complete page this complete page would have been refreshed i think even they this uh, website guys also didn't use proper react js or angular js because when i'm clicking on it here it is refreshing actually it should not happen because if you uh, refresh page a refresh option takes place your mb or speed also increases with it if you are building a top uh, top uh, higher complexity web applications it it becomes a big problem to you See, this is a simple website this is only text based website so it, it's not a problem here when i'm clicking anything the complete page is refreshing it should not happen actually so when you are using angular js or react js whenever you press anything only the down part refreshes but not the complete page uh, to tell you what i am saying let me show you a small demo which i have created uh, where is that html okay this is the one i have created a small back end generator for you guys so here you see two buttons right green color and red color uh, look what happens when i change the color you, you keep an eye on this refresh button also when i whenever i'm changing anything this won't change this this complete website i have this complete page i have uh, created only using dom i have not i have not used angular js or react js only using dom dom only dom i have created this now check what happens if i change red to black this this color is changing right now and then dynamically dynamically it is changing see 
whenever i move the mouse with my mouse itself the color is changing so per second it is taking a lot of changes in the website but still if the refresh is not going on because this is dom dom never uh, changes the complete website so th that is the power of dom if you if i am using if you are not using dom here what happens you know whenever i move my mouse from here to here that uh, uh, there will be a refresh if i move my mouse from here to here there will be a refresh if i move my mouse here to here there will be a refresh so the, in that way it takes place but here it is changing dynamically and still it is uh, not uh, not changing it's not doing a re complete refresh so this is how uh, i made it with dom if you want to see the code uh, html is here it is normal html only but uh, javascript i'll show you again i'm telling you i'm telling all this because this is not actually re uh, directly related to angular js but i'm teaching you all this because no one outside this seminar or no one in any videos i have never seen people talking about dom for angular js and if you directly go to youtube and udemy and learn about uh, angular js you may for, you may you may not learn this that's why i'm talking more about dom now uh, after this we'll move to angular js directly so this is this is the small code i have written using dom uh, which helps us to change the things dynamically uh, you don't uh, now if you don't understand this also what i am doing you don't uh, panic i told you right document document is the parent anything you want to change in the web application you can change it with the document itself so that is how we use dom if you understand dom it is enough you no need to code right now uh but please try to understand dom i think in uh, satyabhama also in our satyabhama website dom is included i have seen the curriculum you will come to know dom uh, in uh, your college days itself okay next we will move on to angular js uh, sir then for opera what is java engine it's not java engine javascript engine but uh, uh, for opera i don't know i honestly don't know maybe even i have to search in internet i only remember these three because uh, my project and i myself work on these three browsers we don't uh, work on opera so i don't know about opera okay next thing is uh, uh, angular js right so angular js now we are coming into angular js to work on angular js and to start working on angular js you need something you, you need three things you need total three things let me show you what are the three things the first most important software you need for angular js is node js one uh, person asked me right about node js this is the node js is you can just go to node js website and you can click on uh, download and it will be downloaded and you can install it ne the first important thing is node js and after that you need angular cli some people may know this some people may not know you need something called angular cli you can directly install angular using this command or you can uh, go to cli website and read documentation also but this command is enough i'll copy this command for you i'll put it in the chat box so this command is enough for you to install angular in your website in in your uh, computer sorry this command is enough after installing node js only this will work before installing this it won't work be careful with that after installing node js after installing node js what you have to do you know you go to cmd and here type npm here you are getting some uh, things like uh, where command is and all it means npm is installed npm is installed in your computer you can also use npm dash dash version for getting the version also but just click npm and if anything comes like this npm is installed in your computer and uh, you can you know you can just go copy this uh, link copy this command and paste it here since i have already installed i am not pressing enter but uh, you can just copy it here and press enter and one guy asked me whether uh, it's not working in visual studio code i'll sh i'll open visual studio code right now and i'll uh, show you uh, after uh, get, after uh, having node js after having angular ci you need to have some software called visual studio code Visual Studio Code is helpful for building uh, front-end applications. Even if you are building a full full, uh, full stack application, there will be front-end, right? For the front-end, we use Visual Studio Code. 
you may go for any editor but i will still argue with you that visual studio code is the best editor outside there which is also for free and it is completely updating uh, for every 10 days and 15 days it is awesome editor i have ever seen for uh, front end application development so after uh, downloading visual studio code you can just open it so this is what uh, visual studio code uh, looks like maybe your visual studio code is different from mine i have used a, sm uh, a small extensions of themes maybe it is somewhat different but uh, it it is uh, same this is uh, how visual studio code looks like here all your files will be there you can just use it normally as your normal eclipse and all uh, someone asked me about a terminal right so you have opened your terminal here now I am using PowerShell here, or else you can also change your default terminal. Uh, there will be a setting somewhere. Wait, I will show you. There will be preferences in preferences settings. In settings, uh, you can uh, search for your terminal and you can uh, suit your, your best terminal here. You can also use your Git terminal or your uh, PowerShell terminal or your CMD anywhere. So here I can change uh, which terminal to change. I can change integrated one and external one. For for now, if you are facing any problem, you can just uh, change from this integrated to external. External in the sense, external CMD will be coming out. But if you are still wanted to have an integrated uh, CMD and uh, and if you want to use npm, just type npm here. And if for uh, you really here npm is not working, you need to go to environment variables. I think you already know about environment variables. You, you, NPM would be somewhere installed in your computer, right? You need to go to that location. You need to copy that location. And here, there's something called path. In path, you have to paste your NPM uh, location where it is. Only then your NPM will be recognized by this uh, CMD. See, here I have NPM, right? See, uh, I couldn't zoom this, but uh, it is saying like C users MV1. MV1 is my computer name, app data, roaming, and NPM. This is the place where I have installed my node packages. Uh, you need to search where you have installed your node packages and copy it and click on new here. And you can paste it here and click on OK. If then uh, I guarantee you it will work. If you have done uh, everything what I told right now, uh, for sure it will work for you. Once you try, uh, it will, it will uh, surely work for you. So that is how we will uh, keep a path uh, in an environment variable and that will be recognized inside CMD. So I have uh, talked about the required softwares, right? I have, we have spoken about uh, Node.js, Angular, Angular CLI, Visual Studio Code. I will keep it in chat also so you will not forget. Uh, Node.js Angular CLI and Visual Studio Code. For the front end, you will use Visual Studio Code, and for the back end, based on the programming language you choose, uh, it differs. For example, I have chosen Java, uh, Spring Boot. You can use either Eclipse or IntelliJ. I am using IntelliJ. I am already running small application here. That is, I want to show you one project right in the end. Uh, that project is being run in the back end here. That is why this console is uh, running. Uh, this is what IntelliJ looks like. I use it to use Eclipse, but I have changed it to uh, IntelliJ uh, recently. I, I think IntelliJ suits me. That's why I changed it to IntelliJ, but you can use e uh, Eclipse also for Java and PyCharm or anything for uh, Python code. So these are the tools which you require for uh, starting your AngularJS journey. And the next thing is uh, Actually, uh, uh, after installing this uh, Node.js Angular CLI, how you will create your first project? If you have already done this uh, along with me while doing this session, you can just open uh, your CMD uh, anywhere. Anywhere you go in your file system and open CMD here. Here, how I am doing, do it like that. Here, just click on it and type CMD. A CMD will be opened in this folder. You see, C user MV1 desktop seminar. Or else, if you don't want to do this, you can just click on Shift, Shift and right click. After clicking on right click, since this is Windows 11, I'm using, I need to click on this. But you, for you directly, this will come here. Click on PowerShell or open 
power cell windows here for you power cell 7 won't come this is an external software i have installed just uh, five days back uh, open power cell window here you can uh, this will be coming to you you open this after opening it a cmd will be opened under this name under the location of uh, where you have opened here uh, just give this command what i'm giving ng new and the file name like this i'll give this uh, website link also it will be helpful for you oh i have sent only one okay okay right Bro, at the end, can you just give a complete roadmap for a beginner way to start, what to do and all? There's so much to learn, but there should be a sequence to learn everything. Uh, okay, okay, sure then. At the end, I will try to give you a complete roadmap from where to start and uh, where to move. Are you, uh, are you asking a roadmap for a complete web develop, I mean complete full stack or only Angular? Only Angular JS. Uh, I didn't get that. Uh, please message me here whether uh, you are asking me about a complete complete full stack, right? Okay, okay. I'll give you a complete roadmap. Bro, once explain Node.js. Node.js is nothing. I'll I'll give this uh, roadmap. Uh, I don't know who asked it, but I'll definitely uh, give that. Uh, to explain about Node.js, you know, Node.js is a thing which is invented long before before anything. This at that time, Node.js is used for. Uh, you know, automating task for JavaScript. Before Node.js, we have used to type everything in Node.js. But after Node.js came into play, everything become became uh, somewhat easy. Node.js is nothing like, uh, I know, how to say you about Node.js. Mm. For example, you, th you think uh, JavaScript is your ice cream. Node.js is the cone which is handling that ice cream. Uh, we use a cone, right, for cone ice cream. The cone is the base of Node.js. Without Node.js and the, and the packages of Node.js, the complete ice cream will melt right away or it will fall to the ground. Because of only Node.js, uh, it is able to withheld the JavaScript. Node.js is nothing but it contains all the packages. To be uh, in a smaller, uh, to tell you in a smaller way, Node.js uh, contains all the packages of uh, JavaScript. I will I'll show you a website called NPM. NPM is nothing but Node.js only. Node Package Manager. The full form is Node Package Manager. NPM and Node.js are one and the same thing. Some people think they both are completely different. They are similar only. For example, if you want a sign-in page. For suppose you want a sign-in page. Just click on sign-in. Can you see lot of sign-in add-ons, sign-in uh, projects, everything will be coming to you. What it does is developers like you and me will go to node npm and they will upload their code they will upload their packages for others to use for example if i want a sign up code i can just click on here sign up and some developer or some people in, 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 somewhere in the world would have already made a sign up page a sign up package see someone here already created a sign up uh, package so i just need to copy these commands and paste inside my project and sign up page will work for me. Even I no need to write this code also. This code will be there in the package. For example, you are writing stdo.h, uh, date, time in Python and pandas, you use, right? Those are all packages, pre-built code written by developers. Some, somewhere, some developers somewhere in the world. In the same way, in JavaScript packages are written by somewhere in the world and that packages are handled by NPM. If you want NPM, you need a Node.js. I think I answered your question then. You need NPM to do anything in JavaScript. For, NP for handling NPM, you need Node.js. So that is why uh, even after installing Node.js, in my command prompt, I have typed NPM. I, have, I didn't type Node.js. I typed NPM. So that is the connection between NPM and Node.js and that is why we use uh, Node.js. Uh, we have some more questions here. Uh, I think I have explained this uh, once explained with this. I think you understood it. If not, please again ask me. I will uh, tell you. Uh, complete. Ah, uh, yeah, complete. I'll, uh, this complete is about this one, right? I am got it. Bro, I am interested in ML. Can this help me? Mm, maybe not. 
to be honest not because uh, for ml mostly will be using python or uh, r right so maybe this full stack development may not help you i don't know who you are but uh, it may not help you because uh, in the future full stack and machine learning may together come into place but i i don't think that any company will take full stack developer and machine learning developer as as one person they'll mostly take them as a two pe two people either they will hire a full stack or they will hire a machine learning but in the later in your future you will understand full stack and machine learning are tied in a less a linear path but no company will take machine learning enthusiast and a full stack enthusiast for a single job they'll hire two people for that so uh, it really may not help you but try to understand html css the basics so that uh, after you creating machine learning uh, applications right you need to integrate into websites at that time you will understand after you creating machine learning algorithms machine learning uh, uh, those and all kind of things you need to integrate your project into websites so that customers can use at that time uh, you need to have a little bit knowledge a small bit of knowledge on html css and js we have a really little bit so the only in that way it will be helpful for you otherwise it may not bro it is not getting recognized i'm trying from two days oh is that uh, visual studio code right it is it has been recognized in cmd but it is not in vs code ah uh, i need to see your code once see your visual studio code once because uh, whatever you do here right in your visual studio code uh, i think i closed it whatever you do in this visual studio code terminal right the terminal is nothing but your powershell itself so i don't know why it is not working maybe uh, this terminal of yours and this terminal may be different let's see this terminal uh, aka powershell and uh, this terminal which i am uh, uh, the powershell which i have in my computer are the same one and the same so it has to work but you are telling that only in cmd it is working uh have you have you given that environment path variables and if still if you have given the environment path variables and it is not working my suggestion is to once uh, uninstall node js and uh, again reinstall it maybe some of the things during install it has lagged out once uninstall it and install it and once see if still uh, problem persists for you uh, after this uh, seminar uh, you and i can sit together and we can solve that uh, problem I don't know who this is, but uh, you can contact me. You have my links, right? In the previous seminar, I have given you. Uh, from that, uh, you can contact me, bro. How to install Angular CLI? I have given one command on the top. I think so. I, I think I have. Uh, yeah. No, 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 not this. Ah, uh, using this command, just uh, copy this command here. Just copy this command and go to your CMD after installing Node.js. After installing Node.js, uh, your CMD understands that you have installed Node.js. and just paste that command here it will be installed uh so i think i answered it bro i'm interesting i will can help i think uh, some other person also asked the same thing or maybe same person i think i have answered it uh next is yes bro bro one show how to install uh, i have to completely uninstall it no it may affect my project but uh, no just uh, without pressing enter at the ending uh, pressing enter i can show you because if i uninstall the angular version which i have now it may be some problem for the uh, already made projects i have in my computer that is why i didn't press enter uh, but i'll show you i'll show you it i think the command is gone this is the command right just copy this copy this command come to cmd just open your normal cmd anywhere anywhere you open your cmd and just uh, do right click here right click oh you i think i have not copied it in zoom or chat i can't copy huh? no there is no copy npm install command uh 
have written the command somewhere and it is gone now. But this is the command, guys. You can use npm install g at the rate angular cli at the rate uh, latest. This is the command you can use angular cli. Push, come on. This is the command. Just go to just go to cmd and in cmd you just need to do right click here. The command will be pasted here. Uh, npm install here g means global at the rate angular in the sense your angular packages cli in the sense in angular you will be using cli that is command line interface at the late at the rate uh, latest in the sense to install the latest available package in the npm module uh, website so this is the command after uh, clicking on this command just press enter for you i have pressed enter now let's see what happens there is something like this it happens to you also fetch me that much meta that and all after uh, going on this, for me, it may say that packages are installed. For you, it may say a different thing. I don't know. I'm just taking a small risk here, actually. Uh, so, in this way, uh, it, it gets installed in your uh, CMD. Uh, for me, it's saying added 62 packages. Maybe these packages are missing from my... Uh, install software so now this has been pa packages are added for you maybe more number of packages gets added this is how you can install angular cli in your computer it's just a single command and we have installed this you can, you can find it in your chat box so i think uh, no more doubts uh, the time is short so i'll move on to creating my creating our first project so i have gone to this uh, place right in the desktop i have gone to seminar folder in here type ng 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 in the sense angular but in the short form they call as ng ng new and the and your project name what is the project you are starting for example now my project name will be demo always keep your project name in small letters do not use capital letters and do not use your first letter also capital never ever use that Use only short letters, only, only uh, smaller letters, not capital letters. The, the name I'm giving here is demo. And if you want to use spaces in your project, I have seen some people just giving uh, space in between and writing. Never do that. Never do, never include space also. If you want to give space, give hyphen here. Hyphen or underscore are permitted, but never give space. So ng new demo. Now a project will be created. See here in this folder, demo folder is not there, but now it will be created. Just uh, see like that. Uh, here I have to give some more things like Angular routing. Uh, routing will come in a future part of learning Angular. But at present for showing your demo, no need of routing. So I am clicking on no. Uh, you can uh, select which style sheets you want to use. For now I am going with CSS. But uh, if you are interested in SCSS or SASS, you can use that also. I am going with CSS now. You see, uh, some of the files are creating and you can see a demo folder is created here. Uh, these all packages will be uh, installed in now and some files will be created. I will show you what are those files and how to uh, use those files. And before completing this, I want to, I already told in my previous uh, seminar, but I want to tell you uh, again also because some of you may come new for this uh, seminar. We have a community where uh, we are doing these kind of things. Uh, we will be uh, uh, searching for internships, jobs, uh, programming memes, uh, even cheat sheets, uh, hacking tips and all. We will be actively posting this in our community we have. So you can also uh, participate uh, into our community. You can just go through this form link. In this form link, uh, you can fill what are the technologies you are interested in. For example, you are interested in machine learning. You can uh, give that in this form and we will see how uh, we can uh, facilitate you uh, with uh, machine learning cheat sheets, machine learning courses, machine learning softwares and all. Uh, we are not uh, doing this anything for uh, commercial purposes or anything for uh, like paid things. We are just doing this because uh, as a, you know, as an alumni and as a, uh, I, fascinating thing about uh, teaching others we are doing this so if you can uh, please uh, see the community 
we are doing a lot of things every day we will be posting even internships and jobs uh, notifications also it may be useful for you in one or the other way so that is what i wanted to tell and if you are uh, html uh, if you are a telugu guy if you can understand telugu in our uh, channel we have uh, html css at present in telugu you can watch that uh, i'm trying to give as much as quality content as possible uh, which are, which are not taught by others so you can have a look at that and we are starting javascript and uh, from javascript we will be moving on to angular and from angular i will be also taking react js in that uh, channel uh, so you can uh, you know uh, just subscribe and uh, notify so that the notifications are going to come to you i'm just telling this and not doing any kind of promotion uh, so let's move on to that uh, demo folder so this is what your angular project looks like guys this is what your uh, angular project is without using this cli and all if you uh, you give up uh, some developer to create an application he has to create all these files it takes nearly around 5 days just to create all these files and initializing them but angular js right away does all these things for me now let's see what each of this uh, uh, file and uh, folder th does i will open this folder in uh, code visual studio code so that uh, you can understand better Now it's eleven fifty-seven. Twelve fifteen, I think I have to end this session. At twelve ten or at twelve five, I will be giving this uh, project, this uh, complete uh, Angular JS and Spring Boot project for you. If in case you have missed this project, means if you didn't understand the, this project in the last ten minutes, in my YouTube channel also I have posted this uh, project, a uh, uh, demo, a complete demo of this project. I have, I have done a lot of things in this. Complete validations are there. Sign up is there. Authentication is there. A token system is there. It is a high-end project actually. You can just uh, see a demo in that uh, channel also. Uh, now let's start about uh, our file system. So this is what your Angular JS project creates. Uh, if you have any doubts, also you can ask in chat because from now on we are going to next step. You may understand some of these things and you may not. If you have any doubts, just give it in the chat. Uh, the first thing it creates is node modules. Node modules is nothing but your packages, your JavaScript packages, which are in connected with your application, not with your uh, language or uh, system. In the sense, in the C programming language, you use stdio.h. In Python, you use pandas and uh, so on and so on. You use lot of packages, right? Uh, for creating your project, also creating your application, also you need some packages. So that packages are stored in your node modules folder. These are all the packages, Babel. uh chokidar these are all the packages which you can use they are there you know you can use uh, if you want you can use if you don't want you can leave it these are the packages which which are uh, uh which, which are the base for your application next is src i'll come to src then this is the place where 90% of your work will be done i'll come to src in the end after completing this next is browser list src browser list src is nothing but main web browsers where you will be working on this application Here I am working on Chrome, Firefox, Edge, Safari. So uh, this is mentioned by default. So that is what browser list SRC is. It's just it's just nothing but you are telling your application that these will be browsers which we will be working uh, this application on. Next is editor config. Editor config is not for your application. It is for the editor. This editor. If I change anything here, this editor changes. Uh, this editor changes how it interacts with your application. Next is next is Git ignore. git ignore is nothing but in the company when you join you will be uh, dealing with github more and more after uh, after coding your project you have to push it to github at that pushing it to github you, you should not push git node modules again i'm telling you you should not push node modules you should not push tlp you should not push dot launch dot class path dot pro these all these are the things you should not push because these are the files which are different for different person maybe my colleague is using different type of packages so i should not push my packages to him again it will be duplicated so in whatever files you include in this git ignore that will be ignored by github next is angular.json angular.json is like a, a complete settings in your in your android phone you have settings right you have a application called settings in the same way in your complete application this angular.json is your settings application 
you can change you can alter anything in your application by using this uh, angular.json here uh, for example if i change for uh, where are the budget something will be there the budgets here in budgets if i change 500 kb to 5 mb uh, a warning will not be shown whenever 500 kb of uh, tank complexity or uh, size complexity is uh, is uh, you know maximized whenever it uh, crosses that limit it won't show so i can do a lot of settings option in angular.json next is karma.conf.js this is for testing karma is a testing uh, framework we use for angular js to test angular js applications uh, at that time you, when you are when you become a tester in uh, angular js then you can uh, know more about karma.conf.js next is package log.js package log.json and package.json are one and the same everything is same you can also check everything looks the same but you should not a developer should not touch package log.json see a warning also comes here i should not edit anything inside this package log.json i should not ever touch that but in package.json i can touch it i can change it if the changes are uh, you know if the changes are good if the changes are feasible the changes are also uh, changed in package log, package log.json automatically you should not change anything by hand in package log.json that is why dash lock is used next is readme.md is nothing but documentation of your application next is tsconfig.app.json these three files ts tsconfig.json tsconfig spec these three are nothing but your typescript files uh, in, if you are using javascript if you are using javascript and you use javascript framework for any angular or react we call it as typescript typescript and javascript are like brother and sister nothing uh, different in them uh, only some of the things will be different so most of the time the both are similar only but we call it typescript in angular js and react js these three files are for that only for handling javascript files better so now we have created the files and i told uh, we'll talk about src right in src we have app assets environments fav icon dot ico and uh, index.html main.ts polyfill style and test the app the app is nothing but your component first let's come to first let's uh, cover this fav icon dot ico let's uh, first run this because when running only i can t i can tell you what happens in the back end right uh, even if I tell like this, you won't understand now. Uh, let's run the Angular application. To run the Angular application, you can use uh, uh, something called ng sir dash dash open. Uh, since now uh, uh, now error will come to me. See, uh, error will come to me because I have I'm already running an uh, Angular JS port here. Uh, for showing you that a bigger project, that high end project, I am running this in back end. So I need to use a complete another port. For using another port, uh, we can use ng serve open or uh, dash dash open dash dash port port 4201. Now it will run. Oh my god, 4201 is also in uh, progress. I should use 4202 then. Oh my God. Where is the port? I'm so sorry guys, but let me change the port then. Actually, this is the only we change it. Ng server dash dash port. Uh, what I am using port only. Let's give four four zero one then. Still, it's not running. Oh, oh my God! I did a small mistake here. You see. Even a lot of people like me also in the initialized uh, days uh, does the same thing. I didn't even move into that uh, project. I'm still in this seminar folder itself. Oh my God. I have to move, move inside that uh, demo folder. And after moving into this demo folder, now I have to give serve, uh, ng serve open dash dash open. 
but dash dash open will not work first stage because it is already working uh, now it is working see it i think it changed the port number which i changed here but it's a silly mistake to edit till now it wasted some time also see it is asking for uh, port 4200 see here port 4200 is already in use would you like to use a different port because i am using a port address in here that is why uh i have to use a different port i have to click on yes automatically it will select a different available port and it will run my program if it does not take another port then we have to use dash dash port now it will take small amount of time to just compile our angular project let's see it is uh, compiling uh now with stall 7 right i will also give you the link of my project that my complete project which i have here the link of the project is in my github my uh, channel also you are understanding right if you did not understand anything uh, please ask because angular js is not a small thing i'm telling you right uh if you learn angular js completely uh you would be ca called as a developer a full stack developer right and then so this is what your demo application looks like this is whatever we created right till now we have created your demo application right that is what this application is this application is that only everything you see here is already pre built pre coded by developers only you have to change this navigation bar you can change the background and all let me give you my Mm -hmm. actually the time is very short i will say would have talked and more i wanted to give you this project so badly because i have worked a lot of time in this project it it, it will actually help you you can also make mini projects and final year projects only this using this application uh, where it is ah uh, here This is the application. This is the application I created, and uh, the link will be here somewhere. I given to someone. Yeah, this is the link. Copy link address. Oh my God. So this is the link of my project, GitHub project. You can just go there. Uh, you can clone it. I, you, I think everyone knows how to clone a project. If not, I will show you right now. This is the project, but here you don't have any uh, download option. You have to go to here, and you need to download all these files before uh, downloading that uh, airport management system. But you can just, you know. download this and delete this other files delete these files and just uh, download uh, after downloading delete all these files and uh, only use airport management system or else i can uh, completely move airport management system into a completely different repository and i can uh, give you that link but right now i can't do that because time is short uh, i think i will copy i will post this in a separate repository and i'll give you that link in telegram uh only there i can give right uh, i'll i'll give that uh, link in telegram after this session i'll uh, paste that uh, link in uh, telegram so that you all can use it if you want to download all this you can press download zip or uh, clone but i think you no need to download it, all these things these are all waste for you i i'll post this uh, project in a com complete different repository and i'll give you the link that would be much more feasible it is showing error bro for what Uh, for what it is showing error, I did not get you. I think you are talking about this one, ng server. Can you also tell me what is the error? And still four minutes is left. Oh my God! So 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 see see see. This is the demo website, right? Now I'll make changes in the demo, and it will be also reflected here. Index.html. First of all, your Angular JS, your browser reads this uh, application. And it will read index.html. In index.html, it will read this demo title. That demo will be posted on here. And after that, uh, this fav icon dot icon will be there. This one, this fav icon dot icon. This icon is nothing but uh, icon. 
in the short form we the extension is ico this a you are seeing here right a that is I ico that will be shown here and after that uh, uh, app root app root will be there once it it uh, angular js reads uh, your browser reads app root it goes to app component in app component we have five in every component we have five files css html spec.ts ts and uh, app mod app dot mod ts so uh, in these files the component which is most useful is uh, ts file and html file in html file this, you can see this right this is the code written for this one this entire uh, thing is written in one single file which is this one if you can see here uh, uh, here resources are there right instead of resources if i change it to monish that will be reflected there right and then monish if i and I, and I save it you see here uh, monish will be changed so that and the, uh, this complete file and this one are one and the same whatever things you uh, change here it will be changed in this website also if you want to change the navigation bar here you can just just simply change the navigation bar here once you change it here it will be changed there you can also create more components also it is possible the co command is ng uh, install component and the component name you can see here ng generate component you can either use install ng install component or ng generate component anything will work and the component name you can get it from here uh, time is going and that's why I'm going fast and next is assets assets is nothing but whenever you want to keep your pictures or videos those all should be uh, uh, that all should be uh, uh, kept in this assets folder only you should not keep anywhere else that is a standard whatever the images you, you use whatever the videos you use all you have to keep in assets folder next is environments environments is nothing but the environment which you are working in whether you are working as a production environment or a deployment environment that one you can come to know when you are working in a company and uh, that is what app component and environment assets is index.html I have already told you main.ts is nothing but your TypeScript file for your uh, entire uh, application this is just like your dictionary where everything uh, will be noted down uh, no app.main.ts is only your main uh, TypeScript file for your complete application you can code uh, anything in here and it will work for the complete application still one minute is left i think so so polyfills is nothing but when you are using animations polyfills.ts is useful it is only for animations and style.css is your, is your normal css file to use for your complete application and test.ts is using for testing uh, when you become a tester it is helpful for now it is not needed uh, i think i covered all the file systems here that is what a file system of angular project looks like so if you want to go more inside angular you can learn from youtube or uh, udemy from here and then uh, everyone will teach you the same or you can uh, also refer my youtube channel where i will be posting videos later on thank you thank you thank you thank you monish to accept our invite okay yeah. thank you for giving wonderful talk about angular javascript hope it's very useful for our second thank you yeah. Uh, someone uh, raised the hand. I think uh, you can ask me in your email or somewhere because the session is completed. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.